shit shit the bed. Mmm, fresh drives. Let's have a look-see in here. This is a Samsung 500 gigabyte SSD drive, an 850 Evo. Wow, it sounds so fast. It's an, I drive an Evo. A new caliber of performance and endurance. Maximize your computing experience with optimized performance and enhanced reliability. Powered by the Samsung V. Na -na 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 and there it is. There's all the drive details made in China, where everything is made. Let's open it up. Have a look. See, I'm so excited. I'm so ecstatic. We've we've punctured the seal, the hermetic seal. So here we are, the drive. Uh, there's not much in it. A bit of a box. Oh, it's got a, it's got a disc. I'm going to look at the disc first before we. Uh, oh, it's, it's actually glued in as well. Glued. They don't want you running off with this when you throw all the uh, literature in the bin like you always do. Has an installation guide. One-stop install navigator, manual and software. Yeah, like you've ever needed software to install a hard drive. Oh, I'm wondering is, does this have a sort of firmware update or? So, get your laptop thing. Um, they might have the doodad. Maybe the disc is, you can get these and they have like a, an adapter in here, which could be useful. That's probably what, why there's a software. Put in the disc. Put in your adapter for, I uh, do use the data migration wizard, so that's cool. So you can probably just copy your windows to the other windows and um, pop it in and you're done. So I like that. That's quite a cool idea because if you have a laptop and you want to just upgrade its hard disk, but sort of, you know, move everything across, um, that's probably the ideal way of doing it. And look, you can just do that for the PC. So the instructions are showing you these step-by-step -step guides for doing that. So yeah, actually, Thumbs up, Samsung, that's good. I kind of wish now I paid the extra three quid to get the adapter so I could use this. No, I don't really know how much it was. I'm assuming it was three quid. They normally are. So 500 gigabyte hard disk drive. Mm, it weighs about the same as a Stout. Um, there's my serial number. Don't steal it, don't steal it, don't register it. Um, part number MZ7L, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, there you go. It's supposed to be a good hard disk or, uh, well, yeah, solid state hard disk. And what's this other thing I got? I forgot what I ordered. Ah, useful. If you've got these two and you're gonna shove them in a desktop PC, which is a bigger drive, of course, two and a quarter, you will just screw it like thusly, and then you can fit it in. It'll sort of fit in all the adapters that hold the bigger drives. Corsair, that one is, and it's actually a bit bloody sharp. I felt like I almost slipped my friggin' fingers off. My finger wrists. I slip my finger wrists on this thing. Be careful. <laughs> I know it's only a couple of quid, but it's not worth getting cut up over. So you pop that there, pop it in your machine, and then you shall have solid state performance. Now, my experience of solid state reliability, though, is uh, much to be desired. So let's just hope this is a lot more reliable than my existing light on drive, which likes to shit the bed every, maybe every month or every other month. Hope there's some use to you. Please comment if you've got one of these drives. Was it any good or is it a pile of poo? Please like, subscribe to this video if you feel that way inclined. And as ever, thanks for watching.